These are the very famous, now, eagles of Sydney, B.C., Canada. They have been featured on the Hancock website for a couple of years now. Their first nest was in 2006. They had two youngsters, two eaglets. In 2007, the nest only had one baby. And then in 2008, they decided to go build a new nest in an old dead fir tree, 95 feet high. And they left their first nest, which is in a 300-year-old oak tree, but they still use it as a feeding station. So once these little guys fledge, in about a week and a half, two weeks, they'll fly over there and use the oak tree nest because it's got nice shade. Here's a photo of them now. They're getting to be a pretty big size, almost as big as the parents. These parents have raised three this year, and they had three last year, which is very, very unusual, to say the least. There's Mom out on the bouncy branch. That's one of their favorite perches to leave the nest from, and an excellent branch for the young eagles to try out their wings and catch some wind. flap and flap and flap to strengthen up the wings so they'll be able to fly soon. Parents are very diligent. They bring food as often as they can. The young eagles just eat and eat and eat. Here's a photo of mum traveling the beach at about 60 miles an hour tail drags along the ground and she catches the prey and brings it back to the eaglets. If you listen carefully you can hear the little guys squealing, squeaking when the food comes. This was shot over a three hour period and out of that you got ten minutes of film isn't too bad. This is a nice eagle call section. That's a beautiful voice. They call to each other. They have their signals. Unwanted visitors. Or, look, I found some food. Come and help me. So they have their own system of calls. It's quite unique. sat out. No, there she goes. She sat there for about 15 minutes and then decided to go and look for some more prey. Pa likes to come in from the front of the nest and Mom comes in from the side so they each have their preference. Quite often throughout the year when you're down on the beach watching them, you can see the juvenile eagles from years gone by fly by sometimes, although they don't tolerate them well during the mating and nesting season. But the rest of the year they don't get too excited about it. And there's an osprey nest about a half a mile up the field from this eagle nest and if the eagles see the osprey with a the fish they'll sometimes both of them chase them 
and make them drop it and then they'll grab it. Very big scavengers. The small eagles have certainly beaten down the nest. Where just behind where Mama's sitting you can see all the nest sticks of They sing quite a bit more often if they've had a real good feed of fish. Singing for happiness, I guess. The little guys just sit in the nest and they fly and they hop a bit. Fly and hop. After their wings develop a bit more, on a windy day you'll see them fly and they'll rise up about three feet above the nest, which is quite exciting to watch. These little guys haven't done that yet, but in a few days I think that the older one called Breeze will certainly be doing that. Here she goes out on the bouncy stick. She's been going out there quite a bit the last few days, getting her balance and her braveness up. When she goes there, she's out of sight of the camera, which is just above her head to the left. Everybody wonders where she's gone. It's quite a disappearing act. And a little bit of a fly back into the nest. Not a very good flyer yet, but it's coming. This was shot in the early afternoon. And that's not their most active time of the day. It's best to get them in the morning when they a bit cooler and they have seem to have a bit more energy. The so young birds at this age spend a lot of time sleeping, especially after they've just eaten. When they were quite a bit younger, the big one picked on the little one that we called tiny. But after a couple of weeks he got to be quite a sneaky little guy and he now gets his share of the food and then some. He's a very good scavenger. And he's learned to eat on his own out of necessity I guess to some degree because the parents feed the big ones first. So he'd sneak right in under mum and grab the food. And he'd steal food away from the bigger birds. So he's going to be a real survivor. The middle one is called Hero because there was a piece of vine around Tiny's foot. And she pulled it free. Well, bye for now. <laughs>